Hello YouTube! I'm gonna show you some drag and drop features inside of GIMP. First of all, I'm gonna start with opening a file by dragging and dropping. You can open a file from, let's say, a folder on your computer just by clicking on it and dragging it to your toolbox. And as you can see, the file will be opened. Another way to open a file is from your Internet Explorer browser. I have taken the liberty to already find a nice picture and I can click on it, drag and drag it to the toolbox and let go. And as you can see, it is now opened in GIMP. So that's very handy. There are some other drag and drop features inside of GIMP, but they don't work when I'm recording my screen. Why this is the case, I don't know, but I figured I'm going to show you them anyway. And those features, the ones I know of, are dragging in a foreground color or a background color. Now, as you can see, it doesn't work at the moment, but when you do this at home and you're not recording your screen, it will work like a charm. And you can also fill in, say, a selection, but I'm gonna undo that selection because it's not necessary. Uh, so it's a very handy feature. Another one is quite the same from your patterns dialog. You can just drag a pattern and let go inside your image and your image normally would be filled with this pattern. Uh, for brushes there's a drag option as well. If you have a lot of brushes and you want to make an image out of one of the brushes, you can just click on the brush, drag it to your toolbox, let go, and a new image will appear. Now I know you're going, there's nothing appearing now, but when you do try it at home or somewhere else, <laughs> then, well, you have to drag it all the way. I promise you a new image will appear. And the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, dragging, making a new image from a single layer. I have this ugly image opened and I've decided that I want to make a new image from this middle layer here. And all I need to do is click on it, drag to the toolbox and let go. And again, this isn't working because I'm recording my screen. But normally it will, so just click on it, drag to your toolbox, and let go. And just trial this, and you'll see that it will work. And I think this was it for me, for now. So, take care.